Hello! I am so excited for this video um, and I hope you are too. I've literally been asked four times this month um, to do this video and it is scotch eggs. <gasps> Exciting, I know. Oh, it's so soft. <gasps> so nice. And once you've had these, the ones in the shop, look, it's so revolting. It's going to be flour all over your house. But it's not like my usual recipes where I'm trying to inspire you to do something nice and healthy and quick or to show you cooking's not intimidating because scotch eggs is messy. So there's your warning. It's a messy uh, recipe, a messy. Don't be intimidated by that disclaimer. They're delicious, it's definitely worth doing. And I have a spoon, it's just for scotch eggs. I'm gonna show you. This is my scotch egg spoon. <laughs> It's more like a ladle, but it's got a net there, so you can see. So this is because we're using oil. So if you're not confident using fat, hot fat, or you don't have a deep fat fryer, go do scotch eggs. But if you're happy with that, then here we go. What I want to do to start with, we're going to get our oil going so it's ready to go in. So if you imagine the size of a scotch egg, you want to fill the oil, whatever size your pan is to half of that. So while it's cooking on the bottom for a few minutes and you turn it over and it cooks the raw side. So I'm using sunflower oil. You do use quite a lot. So don't be worried when it's going in, but it's just gonna sizzle and fry and make that lovely crust on the outside. I can't wait for these, so hungry. So we're gonna put that on the back, very low, because I don't want it to Catch fire, you have to be really, really careful when you're using hot oil. So please remember that. So I'm going to soft boil my eggs. Let's go up to my little egg hutch. How cute is this? So I've got four lovely eggs there. So we're going to boil the pan of water and I'm gonna put the eggs on when that's boiled. While I'm waiting for the water to boil for the eggs. I'm going to take this lovely sausage meat from uh, a local butcher, which is not actually local to me, but it's called Ansel and Sons Local Butcher. And it's in Malden, which I went to yesterday. I went to go to the seaside, went to see the sea, had an ice cream, had a cream tea, and we're just going to season it. It's already looking lovely, but we're just going to season it a little bit more. We're just going to get some salt in there, some pepper. I just want to add another little flavour. It's just a tiny hint. It's tarragon. So I'm going to pop some tarragon that I've chopped there. So I chopped that earlier. Pop that in and I'm just going to mix that with a fork. Just get that in. So this will be nice and ready. I can hear the water is boiling now. So I'm going to get my eggs. I'm going to lower them down with my lovely egg spoon so I can fit two eggs on there. Woo! Or I might be clever and do three. Ah, I'm doing three. And like I say, I just want to seal them quickly, get them out, and it still stays runny in the middle. It's a little secret, I'll tell you how I keep them runny in just a sec. This is my first secret, don't tell anyone, to making runny scotch eggs get them off the heat and cool them down as quickly as you can. If you keep them warm, you're gonna keep solidifying and keep cooking and keep cooking and keep cooking and then you're gonna get solid eggs. That's not what you want at all. So what I like to do is I just pop them straight away into a colander and get them straight under the cold tap. So you wanna get these off the heat. They've literally only been on about 90 seconds, about a minute and a half but you don't want them to cook through because they're going to be getting heat when they're in the when they're in the sausage meat. So I've just ran them under the cold tap there um, and then I've put them in a bowl of cold water. So that's just going to stop them cooking all the way through. So we've got our sausage meat now. We need to start making our production line. Lovely blender. And then I have some old bread. But I am actually going to use my second secret ingredient, which is Thai basil. 
you can get it in all uh, the Asian shops, but you can also get it in Waitrose um, and the bigger supermarkets. It's not like this um, exotic herb we've got to get flown in from uh, <laughs> from Asia at all. So I've got that in there, and I'm going to do some salt and pepper, and I'm going to stick that in the blender. Just like the pulse, so the bread um, all gets blended in. And I've turned the oil off as well, because um, just as I could hear it uh, bubbling, I knew it was ready. So the oil's off now. Ah, and like that, in a flash, she comes back and has breadcrumbs. So this is part of our casing that we need. This will be the outside. So I'll pop that into one more. So we've got our breadcrumbs, we've got our flour. We need some flour. Then you need beaten eggs. This is my egg cracking gadget. I've shown you before, but I love it. So, hold your egg and you pop his little hat on and then you're gonna hold that steady and you whack the top so you can just peel it off like that. Look, and there you go, and you just pour it in. You just need to beat those, just till the liquid, nothing exciting. We'll put a bit of salt in there. Just a little bit, a little bit of pepper. Wonderful, so we have our production line ready. So we just need to take the shells of our eggs. The best way to do that is to crack around into a circle. There you go, and then you can just start taking off eggs. And I'm gonna do four of these, so back. So now for the fun bit, make sure you wash your hands kind of a squidgy job so don't know how you feel about it but it's fun we've got to case the sausage around the eggs i'll show you how to do it so we want to get um uh, yeah about a little bit smaller than a cricket ball i'm going to pop that down and then what we need to do is just roll it into a circle so you can press with your hands to get it really thin what you have is this amount of sausage meat and then you want to curve your hand and you're going to cup the egg in here so i'm going to use this nice one you can still feel inside it's still liquidy so be careful but we're going to wrap up the egg we're just going to pat it round gently by cupping your hand both hands and then you use the warmth of your hand and some of the moisture to seal the holes that will be put through our conveyor belt so that's one so i've got to do four i'll be back in a second so we've got our conveyor belt i hope you can see so it goes flour beaten egg breadcrumbs finished egg lovely here we go so we've got our first egg so it goes in the flour so the whole egg is coated in flour. Ta -da! Step one, lovely, done. Then straight into the egg, same thing. Now I'm going to grab a spoon, just because I don't want to make a unnecessary mess. And you can turn that over in there, lovely. And then straight into the breadcrumbs. And then I do like a little jiggle around in the breadcrumbs. <laughs> there you go, jiggle, jiggle, jiggle. Make sure it's all coated. Turn it over, there you go. Now you can double coat, it's up to you how much of a crust you want. So you can actually dip it in the egg again and then into the breadcrumbs. It's up to yourself, I think that's enough. That is your scotch egg, that's number one. So we're gonna repeat that till we've got four scotch eggs. Let's go. There you go, we've got four scotch eggs ready for the deep fat fryer. So you, if you have a deep fat fryer or you have a pan, you can just use sunflower oil. Um, now people say it is dangerous, but if you watch it, it's not. So just don't get it too hot, don't get it too high um, and you'll be fine. So a way to test if it's ready, if you get one of the biggest breadcrumbs you can find and when you think the oil is ready, if you pop in the breadcrumb, and if it's not ready, it'll sink to the bottom and just be wet and horrible. 
look at is ready it'll sizzle straight away from here a sizzle instantly so let's have a look i think the oil might be ready i'm going to pop in a large bread crumb to see if it starts sizzling yeah it's bubbling and sizzling which means it's ready for eggies now be very careful it's boiling fat we have to lower these down with the proper tool can't chuck them in because the oil splashes up so make sure you're using something so if you keep an eye on them they need about four minutes on each side as soon as you see the bottom starts browning and then turn the raw side over put that in and then it'll even out so you've got that lovely crust so they're looking brown on the bottom so I'll turn them over I'm just going to pop some nice salad leaves in the middle there, just cutting that really thin. Just pop some olive oil on the salad. Look at these, oh my goodness. Heats off and these look wonderful. Look, these are my three scotch eggs. I just want to show you the final surprise. Oh, I'm excited. Oh, how wonderful, yes. Still runny in the middle. It looks absolutely delicious. So we just place this up here. We've got this lovely hongue sauce, which goes really nicely with the pork. So if you can get a dollop of that. Look at this, wonderful. I'm going to pop a little bit of paprika on, just a little bit for color. And we just want salt and pepper. Hey, look at that. There is your perfectly soft scotch eggs. So, I can't wait any longer. I've been talking about these for weeks, so let's get to in. Make sure I get some hollandaise as well. Hmm. Perfect money scotch eggs. Success!